Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a bear or a man? This was a question asked randomly on the street and the guy was asking women on the street that like, would you choose to be stuck in the forest with a bear or a man which one would you prefer um of course the man that you don't know probably a random man in the forest you all let me roll the clip for you all to watch <laughs> and so you can listen to women re response but then i would like to know your response to why you watch would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear Bear. Man is scary. Um, with a bear. Well, I've heard about bears. They don't always attack you, right? Unless you, like, fuck with them. So maybe a bear. <laughs> Prob depends what man, but probably a bear. 100% oh, a bear, which is, like, terrifying to say, but... Definitely a bear. Some men are very scary out there. A bear. <laughs> I would say, I would say a man. Hello beautiful people, it's your favorite girl, Maria David, and I'm back again with another interesting video. Would you rather, I'm asking you, you that are watching this video, would you rather be stuck in the forest with a random man or a bear? Let me know your answer down in the comment section. Were you surprised from the response you heard from these um, beautiful women? Were you surprised? Because these men had this response and they've not been okay with the response. They, they cannot understand whereby a woman would choose to be with a dangerous animal than <laughs> be with them in the forest. Like they don't, they don't understand how it is. But then I have some interesting videos to share with you all. Women explaining why they will pick to be with a bear in the forest than being with a man. Let me roll some clip for you all to watch to the end and I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. Well, I've heard about bears. They don't always attack you, right? Unless you like fuck with them. So maybe a bear. The question was, would you rather be alone in the forest with a man or a bear? Seven out of the eight women in that video clip said a bear over a man. I would choose the same. I would rather be alone in the forest with a bear than any man on this planet. The worst thing a bear could do is kill me. The worst thing a man could do is SA me before and after he murders me. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? bear? Go back and watch the whole video. This dude went around and asked a bunch of different women this question. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man Assuming he means like a random man, but you don't know, or a bear. And all except for one answered bear. If you read through the comments, you will see why. A bear. People would believe me if I said a bear attacked me. 100% a bear. The worst thing a bear can do is kill me. Holy shit. Does that resonate? Again, Bear, if I get attacked, people wouldn't question me what I was wearing. If I got attacked by a bear, at least it wouldn't grape me first. You know what to expect from a bear. I'm terrified of bears. I had a fear of bears from childhood. They scare me to my soul, and I'd still choose a bear. One woman says depends on which man. No one says depends on which bear. You know where you are with a bear. I'd say bear too. Worst case scenario, a bear would just kill me. I lived with my stepfather and mom in a ranch. The bears never attacked me, but guess who did? You can stand still until the bear wanders off or you can scare it off. A man won't stop until he's done with you. To the men that say it's not all men, do you kind of understand where we're coming from now? Probably not, but think about it this way. Women's number one apex predator is men, not bears, not bears. It doesn't even, it doesn't even like tip the scale. We are expected to get into relationships or we want to get into relationships with the opposite sex because that's who we're attracted to or whatnot. Um, yet they are our 
biggest apex predator. They are our biggest threat to being alive or graped. 4B movement is sounding real great right now. I mean, I've been practicing it for the last like three years. I didn't even know. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Any man who is confused why those women are answering the way that they do need to take a thousand seats back and actually start listening to the women in their lives. So the question is, what would you rather be in a forest with alone, a bear or a man? And every single woman in that video said, a bear. The vast majority of the comments from women are saying, a bear. And the vast majority of comments from men are saying, I don't get it. Clearly, that is kind of the point. And this is when we need to start having those slightly uncomfortable but very serious conversations. What would prompt a vast majority of women to say that they would rather be in a prime predator's natural habitat than the opposite gender of their same species? What type of generational and historical trauma must that group have to have experienced to automatically make that choice? The majority of these women aren't even thinking about it. It's like an instinctual answer. No, I would never want to be alone with a man because we instinctually know so that is unsafe for us. Whereas we're like, meh, we could probably get along with a bear. What does that say about you? The bear is predictable. I don't have to fear the bear's creativity. The bear is going to do one of two things and I can empathize with both of those things. It's either going to run away or it's going to end me because it thinks I'm a threat. There is no second location with a bear. The bear would just leave me there so that at least I could be found and return to my family. And with the bear, when it's over, it's over. But why do you think morgues don't want to hire men? Why do you think Cleopatra said, no man will find my tomb? Why do you think Marilyn Monroe's body disappeared for a few hours after she died? This whole discourse around this question on this app of like, would you be more scared to see a man or a bear in the woods? And the fact that men are getting offended over women saying, oh, I'd be more scared to see a man. like. Can y'all take the energy that you put into being offended by women's fears, <laughs> women's fear of random men? How about you put that into like empathizing with us or, you know, getting upset about the things that men actually do to women? Like put that energy towards the actual harm here. My people, women are not smiling. They would rather be stuck to a bear in the forest and a random man what is your old take i feel like this question now if i ask myself which one would i pick i feel like i'm gonna go with the bear i'm going to go with the bear it's not because i'm not scared because <laughs> but i feel like seeing a man randomly in the forest i'm scared because the man can ha he can rape me the fear of men <laughs> but seeing the bear a bear i feel like i've watched some videos on how to control bears and all of that when they are color brown color black i do see those videos so maybe I, my brain will start working on how to okay what can i do should i lay down or should i shout or something i will have I, you know i'll start thinking okay what should i do da, 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 what color of bear is this but the man i can't Okay, what am I going to do? I can't do anything. It, it, <sighs> Anyways, men are not happy with women's response. They are not happy. So they've made videos. Of course, we're going to talk about their videos on another video. But then I just brought one particular man's comment here on this video. I want us to watch this comment. <laughs> so you can have an idea what these men are, the way they are feeling to think that, yes, women are choosing to, to be stuck in the forest with bear over them let me roll this clip for you also watch and the response of this clip and i'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video would you rather be left in the woods with a bear or a man that is what girls are being asked now this is going to be controversial i get it but i don't care basically the question is suggesting that the bear is coming to kill you and the man is coming to kill you but women are choosing the bear now, some of them are saying stuff like, the bear might not kill me. I can avoid the bear killing me. I might be able to reason with the bear and I won't reason with them. Does that make sense? Can you talk to the bear? Can you actually, can you talk to the bear? I am convinced that people don't know what bears are. Or they're thinking of their teddy bears. You know, the ones on their beds. A female bear 
can weigh up to 350 pounds. And that's just a female. We didn't specify what gender the bear was. If the bear's a male, well, they can weigh up to 600 pounds, you twat. So why would you want to, why would you want, why, why would you want to be in the, in the woods with a bear? Does that mix? I get it. The whole narrative of men are evil. I get it. I'm not scared of lions and tigers and bears, but I'm scared of men. That's what you like think. That's how you lot are thinking. But I guarantee you, if the situation actually arises, you would choose the man. This is the reason why. Because first of all, whilst I understand what girls are trying to say, the man can do another thing, which I'm not going to dignify by saying here today, as well as the murder. I get it. But I don't think he will do as much damage to you as the bear will. Physically. I'm talking physically. Bears don't just kill you. They don't just swipe at you and you're dead. They eat you whilst you're alive. You're basically going to be tortured by a 600 pound bear. That's the worst case scenario for the bear. The thing is with the man. Whilst I understand what you're saying. Would you not rather... Put yourself in a situation that may be worse for you mentally, but have a chance of surviving. Rather than put yourself in a position where you definitely won't survive just to avoid a worse fate. That doesn't make sense to me. Because at least with the man, you have a chance to fight him off. You could break his leg. You can't break a bear's leg. And if you do, you need a weapon and there's no weapons in the woods except rocks and sticks. Now you could whack a man over the head with a rock and he'd fall. You could kick a man in the nuts and he'd fall. You stand a better chance with the man at survival. That's my point. You stand zero chance. Now you lot saying that you can avoid the bear killing you doesn't make sense. If the bear is hungry and he wants to kill you, that's the question basically. You're dead. There's no survival. It doesn't make sense. It will never make sense. And you can't make it make any more sense than it made yesterday. But I don't think he will do as much damage to you as the bear will, physically. Allow me to introduce you to Mary Vincent. She wasn't attacked by a bear, she was attacked by a man. Now Mary was hitchhiking to get back home and she was hit over the head by a man with a sledgehammer. He then violently essayed her and then when he was finished, he decided to take an ax and just remove her arms. Oh, but when he was finished with that, he decided that he would just throw her off a cliff. She managed to survive, but I guess she probably wouldn't have if it were a bear attack. This sweet little girl is called Fanny Adams. She was eight years old when a man decided to take her into a garden pub and dismember her after essaying her. He didn't survive her attack though, but I guess she wouldn't have survived a bear either. You might recognize this woman. She's called Elizabeth Short. The case was called the Black Dahlia case. After being violently killed and drained of her bodily fluid, washed by the perpetrator, and left physically dismembered and with a Glasgow smile. But I guess a bear would have done a lot worse. Globally, about 81,000 women and girls were killed in 2021. Around 45,000 of them, 56% died at the hands of an intimate partner or family member. Every single day, 137 women and girls across the world are killed by a family member or intimate partner. The most dangerous place for a woman is the home. It is estimated that around the world, a woman or girl is killed el every 11 minutes in their own home. Oh, but I guess the bears, the, the bears are what we should be really scared of. It's almost like they have advice to how to survive a bear attack, but then they don't really have a lot of advice for how to survive being murdered by a man. Is it worse? Is it worse to be killed by a wild animal versus somebody who is sadistic? It must be so much more traumatic to be killed by an animal instead of somebody who has the ability to reason and you can't change their mind or stop them. Whereas funnily enough, you can appeal to an animal's instincts. Hmm. All right. If you're still here, kindly put your thoughts in the comments section respectfully. For me, I feel like women are going to pick bear or they're going to be picking bear to be stuck in the forest with a bear than being with a man because it's going to be so painful when a man that you can communicate with, your fellow human being hurts you so much and you cannot even do anything to survive. It is more painful than, okay, yes, you, you're with a random a bear that's animal that you cannot communicate so you're just trying your best on how to survive i feel like <laughs> it's better to, to get on alive by the animal than getting on alive by a man that you can communicate 
to i don't know if that makes sense and if you listen to some of the stitches the comments under these videos you'll see women saying that the bear is not going to sau the bear is just going to uh, the worst the bear is going to do is, is just to honor life you like fast fast either by eating you anything is going to honor life you but a man would <laughs> A man will SAU, he can, after doing that, after doing that, they will see on a life, you, you know, the trauma. And I feel like women have so much, uh, I, I, okay, and, and then again, another comment I saw was like, where probably you get escaped, probably you were escaped, <laughs> you, 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 your life was spared, and people were like, oh, what happened to you, da, 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 da. like, ah, I got attacked by a bear, people probably might believe you. But then, if, if you go out and say you got attacked by a man, or you were you were raped by a man, they question you as a woman. Oh, probably what were you doing in the forest alone? Da 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 da. What were you wearing? Or oh, you were seducing the man? You should have you enjoyed it. That why that was why you didn't push him away. You know. It, you still it's a bit to tell them to feel bad or something or to tell you sorry they still try to blame you for whatever thing you went through i just feel like these men are supposed to start using their brain and seeing that okay how come these women are going to choose to be with a bear rather than me they're supposed to start thinking like what have we done so much that like, what can we do to change these things what can we like these women must you know that's what they're supposed to be thinking about or talking about, but they're like, why would you be stuck in a bear? Da, 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 da. There's a particular video of him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the video tomorrow, actually. It was just, you know, saying BS. Like, okay, probably a woman doesn't even know what a bear looks like. Do they even know what a bear looks like? Who told you? They don't know what a bear Even though we've not, I've, me, I've not seen it in real life. But I've seen pictures, I've seen videos. So I, I already have an idea what it looks like. And according to this last stage, she was like, there are videos on how to survive, how you can survive in the forest or when you're being attacked by a bear. But there are no videos on how you can survive in the forest when you're being attacked by a man. So would you rather just, you know, stay, pick a man over the bear? Anyways, let me know your own thoughts and comment section and the reason why you're going to pick the bear over the man or you're picking the man over the bear when you're stuck in the forest kindly put your thoughts in the comment section respectfully i thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like and share and subscribe and kindly turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified once i upload another interesting video like this one and of course you all i'll see you all in my next video bye